So here is the 2D drawing of the spindle and the first thing we're going to generate is the flange at the end which as you see will consist of a circle, a rectangle and a small rectangle here. So first of all we'll get the main shape circle we'll start with which is 17.38 return and the rectangle is 11.47 wide tab we can make that a rough dimension we've got 20 there we'll make it a bit more 24 now we're going to put this rectangle on top of here so that it is centered we're going to move it move tool over here select it drag and select the anchor point is already in the middle of the rectangle we want that middle to be in the middle of there so we're going to use the up to tool over there and if we select the center we see that we've got a small dot in the middle there so if we click that we've got them both centered select the trim away tool, trim away the bits we don't want and that's the main shape for the flange we can now pull that to the thickness we need pull tool move it a bit click and drag and we see on the drawing we need that to be a thickness of 1.91 return so there we've got the thickness we now need a location peg on it this thing here which is 1.35 by 2.85 so we'll select that face vertical I'm going to draw a rectangle so I'll draw that anywhere 1 point 2.85 rather 2.85 wide tab 1.35 high return and on the drawing we want this top edge to be located on the midpoint of this curve so let's see what can we move that if we select it all move that to there choose the up to tool now you see we cannot get a midpoint to move it to we, there's a point on that corner we can select see the little dot coming if I click there it'll move to the little dot but we cannot get a little dot for the move tool over here. If I click, it actually finds the center of the curve, which ain't what we want. To get around that problem, we'll draw a straight line. There's a little straight line. Escape. We've got a little straight line on here now. So, if we now go to move and 
and select our rectangle move it to that point up to we can now get a little dot there we are we're on now we want to get rid of that little curve so we can select it and delete it there now we want to pull a peg at that point with this rectangle peg being 1.23 high so we choose a pull tool turn it a bit pull 1.23 return we can now get rid of the surface there's our peg formed the next part is the threaded part of the spindle which is this bit here and dimensions show that it is seven millimeters long so we'll pull the cylinder seven millimeters long off the face So with the select tool, active, V for vertical, circle selected, we want the center of the circle, which is there. There's all sorts of guides showing us that we are on the center of the curve. We'll got a little green dot and we've got several lines showing radii to the curve so we'll look good good to go click drag and a circle is according to the drawing 6.88 6.88 return and next operation pull that seven millimeters Seven return there's the threaded part or the part that ha has the thread or will have the thread <laughs> and the final part of the shaft is this bit which is 6.5 plus 1.5 that's 8 millimeters We'll select that face, V, circle, and it's six diameter, six, pull, eight. We want a little chamfer at the end. So we're going to pull a one half millimeter chamfer on the end of this spindle. We've got the pull tool. We're going to select. Oh, we'll have to select the corner first. Now all these chamfers are active. We'll select the straight chamfer and pull it. 0.5. And that's the plain spindle drawn. Now I'm going to show how to put some knurling on here, showing the 2D drawing. There has these lines. And then I'll show how to put some threads on here to make it, make it look pretty. <laughs> 